I'm Neil Thomas, I'm the Pinal Town Mayor, and um, I guess I just want to say that today is such a, an important day for Pinal. It's the biggest Armed Forces Day Parade we've done. We've done a few in, recently, in, 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 over the recent years, but this is the largest we've done recently, and it's particularly to honour and pay, pay tribute to the men and women uh, who are serving in our Armed Forces at the moment. Uh, there is some, a, a degree of remembering that those who've gone before, but that, of course, is, is more important in November. Uh, now it's about those who are there now and are making sacrifices on behalf of us all for the things we value. Okay, we're here today to support Armed Forces Day in Panath and what we've done is brought in a number of items from our collections at home. Uh, the idea really is to educate and inform the public as to what the First World War and the Second World War were all about. We've got some posters on the wall, we've got some stories of people, local people who fought and uh, served with our, throughout the First and Second World Wars, um, reinforced really by our free online searches, because what we're aiming to do today is to tell people in the local area what their relatives did in the First World War. My name is Lieutenant Dave Thomas and I am uh, an amphibious warfare officer from HMS Cambria and as the, uh, the Royal Navy representatives in, in Wales representing the White Ensign we are here to, uh, to lead the parade through Penarth and essentially you know, we're here to show our support for our colleagues who are um, deployed all over the world both reservists and full time, uh, all, all of us from Cambria are reservists but uh, we're here to show our support for our colleagues who are on deployment around the world today. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, a very, um, it's a very proud moment for us to, to come here and do this.
Armed Forces Day is a fantastic opportunity for members of the Armed Forces to thank uh, members of local communities for their support of the Armed Forces and uh, obviously the, uh, people who are in the Armed Forces come from these local communities and it's great to be able to come back to them and, and uh, say thank you for, for what they do for us. Uh, today, um, along with the rest of the Armed Forces, 580 Transport Squadron from the Welsh Transport Regiment who have the freedom of Penarth will be marching uh, again to say thank you to their local community. Eileen Munson, I'm a Lieutenant Commander at HMS Cambria. I've been part of HMS Cambria now for the past 30 years and uh, had the honour to deploy to Iraq in 2006 and Afghanistan in 2009 as part of Herrick 14. I'm the Unit Training Officer at HMS Cambria and the um, SO2 capability for the Royal Naval Reserve Medical Branch. We're here today to celebrate Armed Forces Day and um, it's, it's an honour to do it at the Vale of Glamorgan, Penarth, which is our nearest local town to where we're actually based. So uh, it's great that the local public are going to come out and support us and that the councillor hosting us for the event. Hi, I'm uh, A.B. Thomas, uh, Rhys Thomas from HMS Cambria. I'm a Seaman Reserve uh, Specialist, for, uh, primarily, primarily engaged in above board protection with the Royal Navy Reserve. Uh, it's great to be out today in uh, Panath to uh, thank the community for their continued support. Uh, it's important to the Reserves and to the Navy as a whole to be able to rely on local communities. We're all local uh, people, we all live locally, we all engage in the community locally and it's good for them to come out and see us in our activities and to uh, thank them.